Hello and welcome to this utility talk video. These are videos where I talk about utilities, looking at the source code and how they're made, um, and then looking at the utilities themselves. This is a little readme file that I wrote to a company, um, the directory which contains it in my archive on my website. It runs in Windows. Um, probably I think I've had it running on Mac too um, so at the top here is a comment it's the name of the program and when it was written so that was a long time ago he's probably got a much newer version now that I may not be aware yeah I'm not aware of so uh, there's header files, definitions for things, um, looks like a declaration or two, more definitions, more declarations, uh, some functions, and um, we've looked at about 15% uh, but this goes on for another uh, 1500 lines at the end here we've got return zero so let's compile it the compiler it compiles easily with mingw which is included with code blocks and um, or at least some versions of code blocks and dev c++ which is a very old windows uh, c++ gnu compiler so that's done with no errors and no warnings and here's the binary down the bottom here it's a Windows executable or as it says here application uh, that's the source code these are the things we've already looked at here there's a manual um, which is from, I think the set, it was written back in 1976, and here it is in the uh, HTML file. So it goes through things like um, statements, um, expressions, functions, statement types. And because it's a subset of BASIC, um, most of the keywords are explained in this document but it still applies to the new version that, it, that we're looking at that runs under Windows so here's the binary there's the basic prompt Okay, so what's happened here is on line 10, that's a line number, they're usually in increments of 10, print hello world, the quotation marks are the delimiters and between them is what goes onto the screen. At 20 there's end, which is required by this basic interpreter to end the program. And when I typed in run, it set, printed a hello world onto the screen. So we might just look at something more complicated here here's uh, adventure which is 27k and we'll go and try to run it with tiny basic so here's the source code uh, looks like there's about 3200 lines of it Welcome to Tiny Adventure. You are free to walk around and look at what you may see. There are other inhabitants you can pick up and carry. If you type, I'll tell you what to do. But after I 
Okay. The first letter, so you're only used to, meant to use the first letter of each word in the text system. And leave the other words out. Okay. So you are in a meadow, behind you sheer cliffs, shimmer in the distance, running water in the distance. GR for go right. You are in a meadow, in front of you is a cottage. Go cottage. Right. Look around um, GR you in the meadow uh, look meadow Go left. I can't e enter a thick hedge. Hmm. Uh, oh, it's produced an error where there was, um, when I typed in the question mark, I thought that might give me some help, but it didn't. But it looks like a uh, pretty complicated little adventure game. Just have a look at maybe one or two other things here. Um, a rith, I wrote this for Tiny Basic. It's um, 59 lines long. Um, if I type, I think if you list 10 to Three hundred and seventy. Is that right? No. List. Yeah. I think you need to use the scroll bar to look up back up through the the source code here. Um, okay. So arithmetic for tiny basic. It's got my website there where you can download this source code. Um, and it's like this little math quiz program. So that should be 30. Five plus eight. Uh, so it asks these little questions that are meant to make you think about numbers in, you know, like arithmetic. Um, Obviously, you could make it as hard as you wanted to, like if I just um, enter a ne negative number to quit. Okay, let me just try that. Oh, it went back. Okay, good. Run. So if we try to make it really complicated, like... See, like, what's 58 times 104? Um, I don't know. Incorrect, it's 6,032. Okay. Hmm. So, that's this little tech, uh, basic interpreter. Um, See if there might be anything else here to look at. Um, this life thing might be pretty cool.
Well, I don't know what's going on here. Let me just have another look at this. Population is zero. Oh, okay. Um, I'll try it again because uh, want to see how this happens. Uh, this will just be my last attempt here because uh, anyway, run. Yeah, population is zero. I can't figure out how to use that one, so that's um, a little bit disappointing. Uh, what else is happening here? This is like a disassemble. That's uh, hmm. Don't really know what that does. And square. I think that just squares numbers and. There's this random thing here. We'll try random. So it's a very short program. There's the entire thing. Okay. So that's just... Uh, it's good the way it's put them all, all in uh, columns. So that's this little thing. Um, pity I couldn't figure out how to get life going. Uh, right, well, uh, thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.